And uh, in AFLW news through, uh, Daisy, has she's re-signed, which is great. Yeah, great result. Yeah, um, she, I was actually at her place a couple of weeks ago and she's like, I might actually play at the back end of VFL, which, you know, VFL round one's this weekend. So she's like, I might come back in a couple of months. And I was like, you are the bloody machine. So, um, nah, super exciting that she's re-signed to the club and... Um, trade period also brought Libby Birch, a premiership player from the Dogs, to the club. So all systems go. Back at training last night and we'll uh, get set for a big 2020. Long time away, but all happening. One of the more settled lineups in the uh, AFLW, Melbourne as well. Yeah, which yeah, is great. We, were, we were really fortunate that most of the girls sort of signed on and we kept our core group together. So a few other clubs uh, struggled with the expansion, but we are... Uh, we stayed strong and everyone's uh, back again. It says, it says a bit about mm. you know, what, you, what you girls are creating and the environment and um, you know, obviously I'm sure some people were, some of the girls could have got you know, better deals or, or whatnot elsewhere, but um, you know, they're invested in, into each other. So I think it's a great sign that um, that's not mean too much moving around in the, in the trade period. Yeah, definitely. And even um, the girls that weren't fortunate enough to get contracts here went on to a lot of them got contracts elsewhere so it just shows that we've built a really strong footy program and other clubs are you know interested in in players that we were unable to retain so yeah there's definitely really good science coming out of the w program